better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Hey, Parasites, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about something that was posted and then taken down. And sometimes Tom does this. He'll post something and then, you know, kind of tease some people. Whoever has the ability to see it when it's up, you know, they get it and then they'll share it out. And then he deletes it uh, from his account. And I, I, so I don't know sometimes whether I should share it or not. I don't know if he posted it and he wasn't supposed to or whatever the case. So just to be safe, I'm just going to show it for two seconds or something. Boom. That picture right there, uh, which has Tom and Jake hanging out in a heated pool. And I thought, you know what, instead of specifically talking, I guess, about that image, why don't we talk about where they're filming? Because it was tagged that they were filming at Warner Brothers Studio in Leavesden. Um, and so I thought, okay, that's cool because that's a neat studio. They have 19 sound stages there. And at D stage there, they have an indoor heated pool where they film movies like The Meg 2 and Kingsman, one of the Kingsman movies, uh, the 300 sequel. Um, I think Aquaman and stuff filmed there as well. So really cool. A lot of history in the studio. It actually at one point wasn't owned by Warner Brothers. Uh, it is owned by Warner Brothers currently. But at one point it was like an air base and then it was like a bunch of different studios just called Leavesden Studios and then which people still refer to it as. And uh, it's got a great history. And and then over time, everything was kind of consolidated and Warner Brothers picked it up. And I know some people are like, well, wait, this is a Sony movie. How are you filming on, you know, uh, Warner Brothers sound stages and stuff? But that's typical, you know, uh, before Marvel was bought out by Disney and stuff, they filmed some of their movies like Iron Man 2, for example, and Iron Man 1 at the Sony stages in Los Angeles. And, uh, and I know for a fact because I was working there at the time. Uh, when those movies were being filmed. So that was before Disney bought them. So a lot of times, you know, people will share studio space with each other because you're in a country where, you know, maybe Sony doesn't have a studio nearby where you're filming and you need something, you know, pronto. So basically you're renting studio space from another studio. And that happens a lot. So, uh, so this is just neat though, because I'm like, wow, that's a big heated pool that they have there. And it makes me wonder what they're going to do in the movie regarding a heated pool or, you know, regarding the water and stuff. And obviously we saw at the end of the second movie, you know, he's in a more tropical, you know, type uh, environment or at least, you know, near the beach and stuff like that. So maybe that's part of it is just maybe it's just a simple scene of him just swimming and, you know, just nothing big or major happening there. Maybe no fights or anything like that. Maybe it's just like a quick scene of Eddie Brock relaxing or trying to relax and the symbiote driving him crazy. Um, that would be funny to see the symbiote bond to like a shark or something temporarily just to mess with Eddie or something, because I'm pretty sure we're going to see more odd couple type stuff in this. And, uh, and so, yeah, just got my wheels turning of what it could be because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm curious. So I want to hear your thoughts. You know, what do you think it could be? And then also before I end this episode, uh, since Jake is in that photo, I want to wish him a belated happy birthday. He just had one recently. And uh, I think also Hutch Parker, for, you know, one of the producers of the film did as well. So anyone on the Venom 3 set that is celebrating a birthday, either, you know, just passed or currently or coming up, happy birthday to you. You know, be safe on set. You know, we're really excited for more news when it comes out. And I will, you know, keep my ear to the ground. I'll try not to miss things like this post in the future, but that's just how Tom is sometimes. So I'll also try to continue to be careful of what I share because obviously I don't want to step on anyone's toes or anything. I think Ryan Reynolds has come out recently and said like, hey, you know, cut back on sharing some of these leaks. Like, I appreciate you guys are excited and it sucks that these got out there because I don't want to spoil any fun for you guys. And so same thing here. I'm trying not to spoil anyone's fun but I still am looking for stuff to talk about. And so this gave me a nice window into talking about the studios at Leavesden. At least we could talk about how cool, you know, their setup is there and the history of it a little bit. And I'll put a link down below to the Wikipedia page if you want to go check out and learn a little bit more about Leavesden. And then also their Instagram page, I'll put a link to that down below as well, where you can learn more about some of the films that filmed at this location, like Harry Potter and Deathly Hollows Part 1 and 2, and a bunch of other great films. So let me know what you think down below. I, if you want brief or briefly of this image, that's fine. But what you think, you know, Eddie could be doing in water, um, you know, with like, you know, snorkel, you know, and goggles and everything like that. Like, I'm curious what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear them down below. And we'll keep talking as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.